Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Joe Kenny, Tom Davis, and Ian Snowden. Evening. Great to see you both dressed for the occasion. <laughs> Are we on? I never thought I'd be smarty dad at three of us. <laughs> I'll start with John Joe. John Joe, you've had a fantastic season. You've gone from probably third choice end of last season to, you know, arguably battling with Seamus, now he's back to being first choice Everton fullback. It's been an incredible turnaround. What do you put that down to? Yeah, as you say, um, the start of the season, uh, I was, you know, I was struggling to get game time. Um, but, you know, I knew my focus was to be, I want to play for Everton. Um, you know, so I had to keep working hard, keep my head down, not get myself into any trouble and, you know, just to um, <laughs> hope for the best really, yeah. So, you know, I was made up when to start this playing, yeah. Snods, if we can just talk about that Wimbledon game in 94. <laughs> I heard him before. You love seeing the young players come all the way through the ranks of the first team, don't you? Yeah, I've said to John Joe uh, for the last couple of seasons, he's, he's been on loan. He's done a fantastic job wherever he's gone on loan to. His performances in the 23s have always been fantastic. Um, he's a scouter, he's a committed scouter as well. Um, when he plays, does. It reminds me a little bit of myself. Not so much going forward, but... <laughs> <laughs> he does, seriously. <laughs> he's half the man you are. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till he's 54. <laughs> but no, he, do, he doesn't like to be beat. He knows how to defend, and I like that. In, 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 he, uh, if anybody tries to go by him, he, he, he always gets a tattling, gets a blocking, and that's the most important thing from a defensive point of, uh, of view stop the crosses coming in the box and he certainly does that Tom what's it like for you to, to trot out at Goodison Park you've, you've come through the ranks you've worked ever so hard to get where you are now when you're walking up them steps to Z cars does it make all the hard work worthwhile yeah definitely um, as you said it's coming through the, the academy from a young age with the likes of John Joe which makes it extra, extra special for me and uh, to get out there playing is just the privilege yeah that's what I was, I was going to act next to the both of you. What's it like? I was fortunate enough to come through and play with people I come through, Tony Hibbert, Francis Jeffers. What's it like being coming, coming through, playing with each other? You've also got Kieran Dowlers on the edge and Luckman went to you know, the, the under-20s championship. You've also got Dominic in the first team. How does that feel to all be playing in the same team together? Go on then. I got, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, you know, as you say, a few of us went to the World Cup and, you know, you start up on relationships on and off the field and, you know, especially with Tom and Dom now, we're all playing and getting involved in the fair team. It's, it's great to be involved in. We enjoyed watching the uh, Under-20s World Cup under Summer Snows, didn't we? Yeah, fantastic. They did a brilliant, uh, especially all the Everton, all the Everton boys. Uh, made us really proud as a club, as fans, to watch you boys out there. And when they did win it, they got the Everton flag as well. But no, I think Everton as an whole, as a club, uh, we need the youngsters coming through. We need uh, the Tom Davis, the John Joe Kennys, etc., coming through because doesn't always pay to pay a lot of money for players. And uh, when, when you've got these boys as hungry as they are, uh, the 23s have got bags and bags of talent. Uh, one lad in particular who I think is going to have a bright future as well, he, I think the boys might agree, is Morgan Feeney as well. Uh, he's captain of the 23s, he's a determined character, he's an Evertonian, uh, he's a scout and you see him play. And I think he'll be probably one in the next couple of years as well to come in at centre-back. So it's so important for us as a club to see these youngsters and uh, give in their all in a blue shirt. I think it would be remiss of us not to mention the Man City game. Now we've got you on the stage, Tom. The, uh, the big victory we had last year, that fantastic goal you scored. Did you know you were heading for goal when you picked the ball up? Or were you just going from moment to moment? Um, yeah, just... I thought I'd get it as far up the pitch as I could, really, and ended up falling to me on the six-yard box, and I've managed to finish it, yeah. 
Did that change your life completely? What, were you sort of recognised everywhere you went overnight? Um, yeah, I think so. That was the big moment for me, really. And uh, this year hasn't hasn't lived up to it as much as I'd like, but I'm dying to to replicate that moment again. Yeah. I used to say about Tom Davis when I first seen him play, I used to say, I wish he'd pull his socks up. I really did, honestly. They were down there. He annoyed me. He was one of them players you wanted to kick, you no know, when you're playing against him. You but after he scored him. against Man City, I thought, you can pe- wear your socks wherever you want, son. <laughs> you never heard that, Snods. He said, you wouldn't have got near me. I'll tell you what, John. Does he realise I was the most sought-after midfield player in the country in 87? <laughs> John Joe, are you getting used slowly but slowly to being recognised around the city by Evertonians? Uh, yeah, you get the um, odd one or two, you know, asking for pitches and, you know, for me, it's brilliant. I think the best feeling is, you know, getting noticed and people wanting pitches, taking time out of your day to, to get a picture and making someone's day. John, I just want to talk to you. I don't know if anyone else noticed it. I've not even spoke to them about it. But I noticed it. In the derby at Anfield, you know, players celebrate goals. Players celebrate assists. I think you ran 20 yards back to make a tackle in the fullback position, tackled him and jumped up and started fist pumping <laughs> like I've never seen anyone in my life. <laughs> Do you remember doing it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk, talk me through it. <laughs> no, um... Yeah, I was just a bit pumped up, and it, it was by our fans, and I thought, you know, it's a great time to act a bit of an arcade as well. So, yeah, it was perfect time, really. Snods and I do the commentary from uh, every home game at Goodison Park for the website, and I can tell you, he still goes up for, for every header, he still goes in for every tackle, and when the rain starts falling, elbows me, and he says, "I'd love to be out there today, Daz." You must, yeah, have, you must have some special memories of the place. Goodison, for me, is a, is a fantastic place. Um, the boys have mentioned it before. When you walk out, especially on a night game as well, when you walk down that tunnel, Zed Cars is playing. I still get the same feeling now, the same passion when we're ready to do commentary and, and Zed Cars comes on. There's no better place for me. Uh, born in Yorkshire, but signed for this club. And uh, it'll always be a special place for me. And I think once... You've been an Evertonian. You're always an Evertonian.